This is a quick rant about Chavo Guerrero. Chavo Guerrero in the WWE right now is being used as a guinea pig, a joke, a gesture, and it's really a shame because Chavo Guerrero is a really good wrestler. It's tough to even watch wrestling these days, but it's even tougher when you have matches where Chavo Guerrero fights Hornswoggle. Now, this is what I have against Chavo being used in WWE right now. You have him being a Guerrero, a Guerrero who comes from a family of wrestlers, kind of like the way the hearts, you know, come from a family of wrestlers. He is the nephew of the late, great Eddie Guerrero, who is hands down one of the most entertaining wrestlers the WWE has ever seen. And you sit there and you put him week in and week out in matches against Hornswoggle. A person, I don't have anything against people that are short because I'm short. But it's the thing. If you're going to sit there and constantly belittle anything that he has as a professional wrestler to make a comedy skit, then what's the point of even having him in the company? We know Chavo Guerrero can get it done in the ring. He's a very, very talented wrestler. And the thing that makes it even worse is the fact that he was also an ECW champion, but yet you sit there and shit on him. Here's a little bit of what they've been doing to Chavo Guerrero as of today. As you can see from this clip on wrestling, uh, Chavo Guerrero is wearing a fucking cow costume. Now, just let me know, guys. Do you feel this is the way, quote unquote, a Guerrero should be portrayed in wrestling? Chavo Guerrero is a great wrestler, but this is one stupid whatever they're doing to him right now. It just really sucks. Now, explain to me how that is entertaining. WWE has changed this whole landscape over the past. I would say three to two years as it relates to quote unquote entertainment value. Uh, like I say, wrestling was a, at its pinnacle back in like the mid to uh, late 90s when uh, the Attitude Era was going around and you had the Monday Night Wars. And Vince McMahon's idea of entertainment then was completely different than what it is today. Wrestling has changed a 360. Now, don't get me wrong, I grew up watching wrestling in the 80s also, and I understand the whole demographic of appealing toward kids and so forth. But this is the idea that I'm looking at. If you're going to still take wrestlers like quote-unquote Chavo Guerrero and have them wear a cow uniform, or have them have a blindfold, and you constantly put them in stupid-ass matches, which hands down are not really that entertaining in my opinion, why? What's the whole point? I mean, understandably so, it's hard to kind of quote-unquote capitalize on what brought WWE its you know, highest ratings and so forth, which was the Attitude Era. I mean, Stone Cold, of course, can't wrestle again. And the thing that kind of clutches people is the fact that the WWE is pretty much trying to mold itself to something different, which is probably one of the reasons their ratings are hurting right now. Now, I don't have anything against John Cena, the person. But when you sit there and use him as the main mark for your company, that is a little bit of a problem. When John Cena's quote-unquote gimmick first came into the WWE, it was hardcore, kind of. It was like cussing and, you know, saying these nuts and, you know, what up, son, you can't see me, you know, things of that nature. But it kind of seems that the WWE has stepped away from what brought it to the dance as related to ratings and so forth. Now, every so often, you might see quote-unquote Degeneration X on TV, which is okay, but the idea of kind of just constantly watering down the product in order to appeal with, to a certain demographic is what, in the long run, is going to hurt the WWE. But as it relates to Chavo Guerrero, if one of the wrestlers in the company who is from a family of true wrestlers, Gory Guerrero, Mondo Guerrero, Hector Guerrero, you know, Eddie, like I said before, the late, great Eddie Guerrero. You have wrestlers in that family, 
and Guerrero is uh, defined as being warrior. Well, let's put it like this. The WWE right now is making Chavo look like a wuss, not a warrior. And it kind of hurts his credibility if he was to try to quote-unquote leave the WWE and maybe go to TNA or something like that. Because the only thing they will see is quote-unquote these quote-unquote comedy skits where Chavo Guerrero is made to look like an ass. But uh, this has been my quick rant about the WWE product as well as what's going on with Chavo Guerrero. Uh, this is Jughead82, signing off.